We cannot despair of humanity since we ourselves are human beings. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine has left most people worried as no one is certain what the future holds. For several years, there hasn't been any major war like this in Europe. But following Russia's actions, anyone's guess who will be next? Finland and Russia have a 1300 kilometer border. Helsinki maintained a diplomatic non-alignment with NATO and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Still, Moscow's recent actions have prompted the Baltic state to reassess its attitude. In our video today, we look at Finland's move to join NATO and how it plans to defend itself from an inevitable pushback from Russia. As Finland considers joining NATO, it is concerned that it may be left out in the cold if Russia attacks before an Article 5 protection kicks in. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Finland's president and prime minister issued a joint statement outlining their plans to bring Finland into NATO. President of Finland, Sauli Ninisto, and Prime Minister Sanna Marin said in a joint statement, as a NATO member, Finland would boost the whole defense alliance. We have to be ready to defend ourselves against Russia, a Finnish defense official stated during a background briefing on April 26 at Rammstein Air Base in Germany, where more than 40 countries convened to discuss how to best help Ukraine's anti-Russian war effort. According to a recent study, public support in Finland for joining the Western Alliance has risen to 76% since Russian forces marched into Ukraine. This represents a significant movement in public opinion since support for NATO membership had previously hovered around 25% for several years. Since the invasion, friendly relations with Russia and Finland have deteriorated. Moscow threatened that any effort to join NATO would result in dire repercussions. Dmitry Peskov, a Kremlin spokesman, said that Finland joining NATO certainly poses a danger to Russia and does not make our continent more stable and safe. He went on to say that Russia's response will be determined by how near military infrastructure gets to its border. Following Russia's annexation of the Ukrainian peninsula of Crimea in 2014, Finland, which fought in two wars against the Soviet Union in 1939 and 1944, increased its collaboration with NATO. As a fundamental operational need, Finnish military pilots must hone their abilities to operate in tough winter circumstances, including taking off in snowstorms, flying in clouds, and landing on snowy runways. In recent years, the Defense Department and most armed services have acquired updated Arctic policies. According to the Finnish Air Attaché to the U.S., this shift in focus brings the U.S. Air Force and a tiny but capable Finnish Air Force closer together. Winter flying in the Arctic is a difficult task that Finnish pilots are familiar with. Finland's Air Force can utilize one-third of the maintainers required by the U.S. Air Force because of its aviator preparedness. As the Russian threat grows and the need for Arctic warfighting skills grow, the Finnish Air Force has expertise and techniques to offer to the U.S. Air Force in exchange for assistance in filling capacity gaps. The United States Air Forces in Europe, or USAFE, based in Rammstein, coordinates cooperation with Finland and has seen a number of advantages in recent years. Finland's air forces have a lot of knowledge and innovation about dispersal operations and other concepts related to agile combat employment that they share with the U.S. Air Force. A USAFE spokesman told Air Force magazine, adding that Finnish defense and air attaches in Washington have also given briefings to U.S. Air Force staff. Finland is a major contributor to the Arctic Challenge exercise series, as well as trilateral training with the U.S. and Swedish Air Forces to improve interoperability. Finland's biannual major Arctic exercise, Red Flag, will be held in 2023 with allies Norway and Sweden, as well as participation from Denmark and USAFE. The mires and woodlands of Finland's northernmost Lapland area are analogous to sections of Canada and Alaska, with large airspace for maneuvering, but a difficult environment with severe temperatures. Since 1918, Finland has had an air force, 
a tiny but very effective service of 2,000 airmen operates 62 F and A-18s command and control planes and air transport over a wide, thinly populated terrain stretching into the Arctic and along the Russian border. Finland wants to purchase 64 F-35 fighter jets by 2028 with full operational capabilities by 2031. We are yet to see Russia attack anyone else, but Finland is doing all it can to make sure it's ready for whatever Russia throws at them. Do you think Finland would be able to contain Russia? Comment below.